We have to stop talking about television, linear, and digital. Um, we have to start talking about the way consumers watch shows and watch content. They watch it live or they watch it on demand. How the content gets there, what platform or screen they're watching on, it's irrelevant to them. They're just watching great shows or great content. And I think that's the opportunity for the industry. Um, there is more consumption of quality content going on today than there ever has been before. Now, it, granted, it's fragmented across lots of different channels and different platforms and different screens. Um, but at the end of the day, that's a huge opportunity for marketers uh, because we're in that next golden age of te television. And um, our challenge, I, I actually wouldn't frame it as a challenge, I'd frame it as an opportunity. Uh, where we sit at ABC, we are in a unique position to experiment, um, to deliver new solutions to market, and to help both our viewers watch whenever they want to watch, and our advertising and marketing clients reach those consumers um, in ways that they've never been able to do so before. So I think um, we don't look at it as a challenge. We think the marketplace is, is healthy. We see the, the glasses half full. Um, but I think your point about us being in a transition is dead on. The business is changing. How we have to think about technology and data uh, and moving away from some of the traditional uh, models that have existed are absolutely things that we're thinking about. It's an iterative process and it's challenging because um, when you start with a legacy business that is, is as large as what our traditional TV business is, um, you can't immediately turn on a dime and throw out everything you've been doing for the last 50 or 60 years um, and, and innovate to a, to a new model. So I think part of the challenge for the established TV programmers um, and networks, both broadcast and cable, is that they have to figure out how to evolve within the confines of an existing business model and an existing marketplace that is tens of billions of dollars. Uh, marketers depend on predictability. They depend on an opportunity to be able to reach consumers. Um, and we have to continue to deliver that as we move through this transition. Now with that said, we're doing everything from you know, thinking about how we deliver advertising in our digital environments, uh, to what degree that advertising will be targeted, um, to the types of formats that we, uh, that we deliver to consumers in those experiences. Uh, I don't think that you're gonna see us continue uh, with the traditional TV standard unit model uh, forever. I think we're trying to find interactive elements that can be incorporated into our advertising. We are trying to find um, you know, on-demand components that can be added in into our experiences. Um, at the end of the day, they have to work for advertisers. And I think uh, there's a lot of experimentation that we're doing, uh, both with, within our own environment and with, with our clients to figure that out. So uh, historically, a media seller would go in with data about the people who consume their media vehicle. And the sell has always been, look at how great my audience is. Uh, isn't it fantastic that we're affluent? Look at how many people I can reach. Look at how many consumers in your category um, I can help you message to. Um, that's not going to cut it anymore. That's an important component of what we deliver as an advertising solution, but that's table stakes now. You have to be able to reach a sizable audience and you have to be able to showcase that that audience is engaged. But what really matters to marketers today is more, how do I drive their business? How do I help them sell more product? And that's never been a data set that I have access to independently. Um, I think the new world revolves around partnership. It revolves around a ad seller, an agency, and a marketer defining what a marketing objective is, what a key goal is, and working together with data from both sides uh, to prove out the value of the advertising opportunity. Sometimes the data that's used on the front end to justify an investment uh, is going to be more in line with the traditional data sets that we've talked about, audience quality, engagement, et cetera. Um, but I think more and more, there's an ongoing uh, back and forth around performance of the campaign, performance of the media, 
that, uh, that has to be part of the discussion. And, and so I think there's no easy answer to the question you ask. I think the types of data and the types of discussions that we have with clients evolves as we move to kind of this new world where real-time media and real-time business results are really what people are looking for.